It is a dang good time to be here right now. I mean, look at that subscriber count in the background. You may not be able to see it from here, but it has 900 on it. So before this video starts, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you are new here though, welcome. We hope you enjoy this video. Now there's this guy on YouTube named Darman who makes these videos that are educational, at least they're supposed to be, and they're supposed to teach you valuable life lessons. But they do it in the most ridiculous and silly way possible. Boy will not show his face in school. What happens next is shocking. Welcome to the roast zone on our way to 1k subscribers. Let's hop into this video. All right, class, we have a new student joining us today and I want you all to be nice to him. He left his last school because he was being bullied a lot. So let's be very welcoming, okay? This kid must be some kind of weirdo. What kind of teacher introduces a new student by saying that they've been bullied so much at their last school that they needed to transfer schools? That's just asking for a disaster to happen. Okay, class, I just want to say welcome to class today. We all hope you had a fantastic weekend. Little Freddy here is going to be joining us. I just want you to know he never shows his face, so he will be wearing a luchador mask for the rest of this entire year. Don't make fun of him though, because the reason he's actually here is because he was bullied so much in his last school that he now thinks he is actually a live luchador. Do not make fun of this kid. He will body slam you through the desk. As a teacher, you're setting yourself up for horrible failure. If you tell your middle school age students to not bully someone else, and then tell them all the reasons why they should bully someone else. He has a tendency to fart a lot in public, he's really into dolls for some reason, and he wears this luchador mask that is just the most ridiculously stupid thing that you have ever seen. You guys are going to get a kick out of this. So now the teacher says you can go on inside, it's time for you to show yourself. Now that I've prepared you for the worst bullying of your entire life. I didn't realize the new kid took the FedEx truck to school. No wonder all my packages are late. Yeah, don't you remember middle school? school when those FedEx jokes were just so funny to everyone in the classroom. I just remember so much. Someone would make a joke about FedEx and everybody would just lose it. And again, this kid right after the teacher says, don't bully this kid, please, is literally verbally yelling out for the whole class to hear. Wow, look at this stupid ass kid right here. Look at that. Hey kid, you got a stupid mask. And the teacher's just standing there like, I don't hear any of this. Why couldn't I have just majored in something else? So the teacher tells him he can't wear any of his masks, so he has to take them all off. And this is what happens. Marty, you can't you can't be wearing a box. Could you please take that off? You can't be wearing that either. Dude, this kid's like a real life nesting doll. You remember all the times in middle school where all those nesting doll jokes would be made and everyone would just pee their pants with laughter? Only the cool kids had the FedEx jokes and the nesting doll jokes. All of us other kids were just talking about sports and video games, other things like that. Isn't that some sort of anime crap? For real? I think it's from Genshin Impact. Again, what? Genshin Impact. It's an open world RPG game with a ton of characters. And you can adventure around on this continent called Tavat with five different regions. Regions. There's also this new map called Laiue Nation. And there's also a co-op mode so you can play with you and your friends. Another dork in my class plays it. One kid goes, isn't that some dumb anime crap? And then our bully kid here goes, yeah, it totally is some dumb anime crap. There's so many different characters and different open world things that you can do. And so many different ways to level up and expand your characters. And you can just roam around in an open RPG world with your friends and other people as well. Fighting different characters and creatures throughout the many different worlds that you get to experience? Yeah, no, that's for nerds. I don't do that. No more messing around. No more masks or boxes, okay? All the new kid has done so far is walk into the classroom with his masks on, and the teacher's like, all right, no more messing around. I know this is your first day here, but no more messing around. Take those masks off right now. Even though she was probably briefed before this and told, hey, maybe you should be a little bit more sensitive with this kid because he has a facial deformity and maybe you shouldn't be mean to him. Also, I feel like a real piece of for making fun of this kid a few minutes ago. So now we're back at home where we find out this kid really loves Genshin Impact because that's just the best game ever. <laughs> During this entire video, which is one of the first full-length Darman videos I've ever watched, there is just this sad piano playing in the background at all times. And what we will find is that the sad piano is playing for the rest of the video. He's having a conversation with someone online in the game and they're typing out big sentences in the way that it wants you to obviously read it but it's such a long sentence for the short amount of time they show it that you can't actually read it before they cut away to a different shot bookside is holding auditions for the jungle book and i think you should audition this is perfect 
my favorite movie, and I could audition as one of the animals. Or you can go for the lead and audition for Mowgli. So Jungle Book is one of his favorite movies of all time, and he's excited that he can audition for this play because he can be one of the supporting actors. But his mom says, why don't you go ahead and try to audition for Mowgli? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be accepted like that. Everyone, partner up. Do you want to be partners? Looks like nobody wants to be your partner. So nobody wants to be his partner because he's just so hideous. He's just so ugly that nobody wants to be his partner. First problem is four eighths divided by one fourth. I trust you to get this answer right. <laughs> what the heck? This kid just like stares at the other kid and goes, I'm trusting you to get this answer correct. Like I laughed out loud seeing that the first time here. Chandler and Kyle, what did you get? One half? That's incorrect. This is all your fault. All right, everyone, take a look at the question on the board. You have 10 seconds to answer. All right, Chandler, what do you think the answer is? Uh, uh. Uh, 17? No, I'm sorry, that is actually incorrect. This is your fault. I blame you for all of this. The answer's too. Correct. Of course you would get the answer right. You're a nerd, which is why you like all this dumb anime stuff. I mean, your shirt speaks nerd. You're such a nerd. That's why you got that answer right. I could totally tell by your dumb nerd shirt. It's probably a Genshin Impact shirt. The open world RPG game with many awesome characters that you can level up and make really awesome. And then you get really cool swords that you can make to like level three and four and five and then defeat these giant giant monsters, and then there's these massive boss battles with so many different bosses just coming in from all sides and you gotta just like take them all out, and then you get these massive prizes and rewards to help you customize your characters even further, and then you can keep moving around because it's an RPG and you can make your own decisions in a world like that. Yeah, that seems like the kind of nerdy thing that you'd be into, that's why you got that answer right. This kid is for sure the highlight of this video so far to me because he is so all over the place. He's running roughshod through his entire classroom. He's making sure everyone knows he's the bully, he's bullying the main character kid. Our man wants to make sure we know in literally every possible way he is the villain. I like your backpack and your notebooks. I'm guessing you like cats. Love that, but my mom will let me have one. You're auditioning for the Jungle Book? Good thing you can wear a mask. Otherwise, nobody would show up. They'd be too scared to see well you. Oh my goodness, this kid is so aggressively mean and over the top. It's unreal. Aren't you forgetting something? I mean, your box. Do you really expect the director to pay attention to you when he's too distracted by... Do you? All right, let's move on to supporting roles. Is there a single teacher at this school who's gonna stand up for this kid who's new here and is getting absolutely railed by this bully? I mean, it looks like he can barely remember his lines. But anyways, he gets up on stage and he ends up impressing the director. The director wants him to try out for Mowgli. Hey, you sure you don't want to try out for Mowgli? Maybe if this was a Halloween play and we were trying to scare people. All right, moving on. Hey, guess who I am? Baloo. Nope, just a better looking version of Marty. Why is this kid even here? Would a cool kid be trying out for the school play for the Jungle Book? I don't think so. The popular kid would not be anywhere near here. But I guess enough was finally said that the theater teacher tells the bully kid that he can no longer play for Mowgli. Hey, hey, hey Marty, where are you? <laughs> no one loves me. All right, that's it. You are not playing Mowgli. Finally, someone stands up to the bully kid and tells him off. He is no longer gonna get to play Mowgli and he has this to say about it. Really deep stuff there. So he's at home playing Genshin Impact, the best game ever, and he's playing with the person he usually plays with online. And he says that he doesn't really have any new friends at his school, Brookside, as if this random person online that could literally be anywhere in the world would know where this kid's middle school is. But it actually just so happens that this other kid he's playing with does know exactly where he is and goes to the same middle school. That does not happen. The fact that these two go to the same middle school and have been playing together blows my mind and doesn't make any sense in the story. So if you could not read that conversation and you don't want to rewind 10 seconds, I'm just going to explain to you what just happened. The guy he's been playing with says that his name is Nelson, and he says that his name is Bennett. Nelson is struggling with his grades. Bennett said he's good at his grades. Nelson out of nowhere says, hey, can we meet in person? Maybe you could help me with my homework. And then Bennett agrees, and the next scene is him waiting to meet some random person he met on the internet to help him with his math homework. And nowhere in this video is it expressed that that is a horrible idea. Don't ever do that. If you're a kid watching this video, don't do that. Don't make friends on the internet and then go meet them in random places. It's probably some 35 year old man looking to murder you. And as we're about to find out, it's dark when he meets him. This is the sketchiest thing that could be in this video. Don't worry five to six million children who watch this video, it's okay. You can go meet random strangers in the dark. Anyways, we've gotten past the whole rant and everything. Apologies for that, but we're now going to meet our online friend from this game.
Oh, by the way, while he's waiting for this online friend, he just gets attacked randomly by these invisible flies out of nowhere, and it just stands there for way too long with him just swatting at nothing. Marty? Chandler? Are you now the gamer 2030? Yep, the online friend he's been playing with is the bully kid, who we all hate by now in this video. Don't say a word about me in Genshin Impact. I did the math homework for you. Figured you might as well have it. Wait, I'm sorry for being mean to you calling you a nerd and stuff. If I'm gonna be honest, my real name is Nelson. I'm just embarrassed of it because it sounds nerdy. So I go by my middle name, Chandler. So it wasn't until Marty showed Chandler that he had done his homework for him that then Chandler goes, hey, I apologize for being mean to you all those times. Which as a viewer is not a redeeming quality for me and I still hate this kid. And now we get a wonderful moral of the story brought to you by our main character, Marty, which is in every single one of these videos at some point. You should have to hide who you are or what you like. My mom always tells me there's nothing cooler than just being yourself. Oh, that's crazy. I've never thought that I should just be myself. I really feel like now that I've heard this from Marty, though, that I should just start being myself and not being afraid of what I like. Wow. And if this kid is so cool with being himself, then why has he been wearing a mask for the entire video? Why is that the whole premise of this entire video is kid hides face in school. But now kid is telling us that it's okay to be yourself and not be ashamed of that. Look, I'll strike you a deal. You help me get better at school and also getting better at Genshin Impact. And I'll help you get the lead role in Jungle Book, since I can't play Mowgli. And I'll hope you become friends with Abby. So Chandler says if he helps him get better at Genshin Impact, the best game ever, and if he also helps him get better at school, he will in return help him get the lead role in Jungle Book as Mowgli, and will also help him become friends with the pretty girl, Abby. Marty can uphold his end of the bargain because he's just helping him with school and with a video game. Things that are attainable, things that can be done on your own as a middle schooler. Chandler's things can't be attained by Chandler. At the end of the day, Chandler can tell whoever he wants that he wants Marty to be the lead role of Mowgli, but that doesn't mean that the director is going to end up picking him as Mowgli. And also the second thing, helping Marty become friends with Abby. Marty's already doing a good job of becoming friends with Abby on his own, and I don't think Abby likes Chandler at all because Chandler's a big bully face. So I don't think Chandler is going to have any sort of sway or power in getting Marty in any way to be friends with Abby. But all of a sudden, they've become best friends. So now even though they're best buddies and helping each other with their plan, every time that Chandler sees one of his friends come over, he pushes Marty out of the way to pretend he's like not hanging out with him because he doesn't want anybody to dare see that he's hanging out with Marty. And they're also helping each other with video games and gaming. He's trying to help him get better at Genshin Impact, the best game ever. This doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get why you'd be friends with a kid who was literally your number one worst bully. During this entire sequence, he's just constantly trying to hide his face and make sure that no one sees that he's hanging out with Marty. And he still continues to be just a two-faced piece of crap in this video. But now Chandler's friends confront him. They're not cool with this whole new change in him. Hey Chandler, we're just wondering why you're spending so much time with Marty. You best friends now or something? Are you serious? No, I'm not friends with him. I'm just using him to help me get my grades up. You think I want to hang with some dork who likes anime? This guy's now had three character changes in the matter of a 20 minute video. And the video's not even over yet. So Marty overhears all this crap, but as he's leaving, he falls down. Marty. <laughs> no one loves me. So now opening night of the Jungle Book play is about to happen and he's Mowgli and he's not gonna be there. So understandably the teacher is freaking out. You know the show can't start without him. Someone try to get a hold of him and I'm gonna try to stall. Well, our lead actor playing Mowgli is running late, so hopefully he'll he'll be here soon. Is that how you're supposed to stall? I mean, I feel like when people stall, they're usually lying, pretending that everything's okay so that everyone calms down and is totally fine. I feel like a good way to stall in this situation would be like, oh, no worries, everybody. We're getting everything set up. We should be getting going a little bit late today, but don't worry. We just had a little bit of a wardrobe fix and we have a little bit of stuff with the set that needs to get worked on. But other than that, we are a-okay. No, but this theater teacher goes out and he goes, all right, audience, how's it going? Our lead actor, Mowgli, is not here at all tonight, so I just want to let you know that he may not show up, but we hope he will show up eventually here, so just keep hanging out, all right? Thank you. Go away, Mom. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm not the one trying to talk to you. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh, get this kid off the screen. Boo. Boo this man. I'm sorry. Just stop. You don't have to act like you like me just because you feel bad for me. I'm not pretending. I swear, I'm not. I know that during your first day of school, I bullied you so bad you wanted to go home and cry. And I know that every day since I've been bullying you as well. Up until we recently became friends and then all of a sudden I stabbed you in the back again. But no, I'm really being serious. I want to be your friend. The truth is, Marty, I think you're really cool. Way cooler than I am. Because... 
You're not afraid to be yourself. Just in case you didn't know enough already, this 14 year old's gonna tell you to be yourself. There's a one to two second pause in between every single sentence that's said in any Darman video from what I've been seeing so far. When a YouTuber who has 20.8 million subscribers has videos where after every sentence there is a second or two pause. Cut out the pauses and just make this much more clean or have them reread their lines. You have enough subscribers to try harder. You have 20.8 million more than me. Please try harder in your videos. Anyway, so somehow Chandler inspires Marty to go be in the show and go do his best Mowgli. I was trying so hard to fit in at school, but I'm not gonna be that guy anymore. You're my only real friend, Marty. He's lying to you, don't believe him. What's this weird feeling? I'm standing near the human place and something's telling me to go home. So he just runs on stage and immediately just starts reciting random lines. He doesn't know where they're at in the play or what they're even doing. He just starts reciting random lines of the Jungle Book. We're okay with that, okay, cool. And then one kid looks like he's about to make fun of him again. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's such an amazing actor. Who talks like that? Oh, oh my goodness, everybody. We Look, everyone, you have to look at this guy here. Oh my goodness. He's so handsome. Dude, you were incredible. You were great out there. The audience loved you. Marty, the show's over. You can take your mask off now. And now we're all set for our happy ending, but no, actually, the two friends of Chandler at the beginning of this video want to come and still bully him for no reason right now, but now Chandler sticks up for him. Oh, wait. That's right, it's just your face. Back off it, man. Since when did you start defending that dork? Well, guess what? I am defending that dork. Cause you know why? He's not a dork. He's my best friend. And he's one of the coolest people I know. You've gotta be kidding me. I feel the same way as you, kid. You've got to be kidding me right now. He's had four character changes now in one video. He went from being the biggest bully to being his best friend to backstabbing him to now being his best friend again. All in 20 minutes. Isn't that incredible? Look, you can say all you want, but I'm not hiding my true self anymore. Whatever, man. Let's get out of here. And they all go home and live happily ever after. And how did they do that? Well, by playing Genshin Impact, of course. The best game ever. Oh, you think you're the only one that's been playing Broadway Boy? Scoot over. Come on. What? It's my turn. Okay. Come on. And surprise, surprise, even mom loves the game Genshin Impact because my goodness, isn't it the best game ever? I think at least five minutes of this 20 minute video on Darman's channel is just talking about Genshin Impact. I wonder who the sponsor of that video is. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. This has been one of Darman's crazy videos. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit a like on my video and be sure to share it with your friends so that they can join the growing askew wagon that we have out back. Thank you so much for sticking around to this part of the video. I will see you in the next video and bye-bye.